Greetings adventurers! Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some major updates for you from the Core Punk team. Let's dive right in, starting with the big news. Core Punk's progress wipe has been postponed by one more week, now scheduled for September 23rd. The developers seem to know that this might upset people, stating, yeah, we know, last minute again, but there's a good reason behind it. Over the last couple of months, the devs have been working on an almost complete overhaul of the combat system. That's right, they've redesigned nearly every hero and mob ability from the ground up. They've also revamped event calculations and tweaked client-server timings to improve that tactile feel we all love in combat. The goal? To deliver a combat system that can compete with the best in the industry. So when you jump back in after the wipe, expect to feel a big difference in how smooth and responsive the combat feels. I'm excited to see these changes. Next up, the narrative team has been hard at work improving the quest system. Based on player feedback, they're doing a massive overhaul of most quests in the game, making sure the objectives, rewards, and storylines are way more polished. Quests will now be a smoother experience for leveling, upgrading gear, and getting into the mechanics of the game. Plus, we're getting a whole new set of side quests and a third major storyline set in the steps, which drops right after the wipe. Speaking of the steps, it's a brand new level 20 area coming with the wipe. This new biome will have unique monsters, bosses, and the resources you need to craft those sweet tier 3 items. Now, for those of you who took advantage of that duplication bug, don't worry, they're on to you. The devs delayed fixing it because it actually helped players explore the deeper parts of the game's horizontal progression. But rest assured that bug's been squashed, so get ready for a cleaner experience moving forward. Next on the list, the devs are gearing up to release a brand new PvP, PvE game mode with extraction mechanics. Think full loot, high risk, high reward gameplay. You want to use your lower tier items in this mode because there's a chance you could lose it all. But this creates a whole new economy for low and mid tier items, making them much more valuable. Expect a thriving player market for those weaker items that you'd usually just sell off. And finally, we've got new heroes and specializations on the way. The content's already been produced, but the devs are now working on animations, effects, and balancing to bring these new characters into the game soon. Get ready to test out some new builds and strategies. So adventurers, that's all the updates for today. The progress wipe has been postponed to September 23rd to allow time for major improvements, including a complete combat system overhaul, better quest progression, and the introduction of a new level 20 zone called the Steps. We also dive into fixes for item duplication, new PvP, PvE extraction mechanics, and upcoming new heroes and specializations. With these updates, Corepunk is shaping up to deliver a smooth and more immersive experience. Stay tuned for all the exciting changes ahead. This has been Dead Man Fred, and if you're as passionate about gaming as I am, please like and subscribe to my channel for further guides and adventures.